Kurt Cobain's estate has slammed the Royal Opera House for their unauthorized Last Days show, which retells the Nirvana singer's suicide. The Royal Opera House's production of the 2005 Gus Van Sant film of the same name, which retells Cobain's final hours alone before he took his own life, had a string of dates at the London venue this week. But the estate for the late lead singer of Nirvana have exclusively told Mail Online that the shows were not authorized and the production is an attempt that seeks to profit on the harrowing end to his life. A representative for Kurt Cobain's estate told Mail Online, This show has been created and written without the permission or input of the Cobain estate. Sadly, it is an unauthorized attempt that seeks to profit and benefit from a brief meeting that took place 30 years ago. A spokesperson for the Royal Opera House said, The Royal Opera's production of Last Days is adapted from Gus Van Sant's cult film of the same name, released in 2005. It is a fictionalized account, and was produced with the permissions of Gus Van Sant and HBO. The story is based on a man called Blake, which is based on Kurt Cobain, an introspective artist who feels isolated under the weight of fame. He struggles with a drug addiction and at the young age of 27, he killed himself in his Seattle home in April 1994. Blake, an introspective artist, feels isolated and lonely under the weight of fame, drug addiction and professional obligations. He chooses to spend his final hours all by himself. The Royal Opera House's website describes the operatic take on the story, Blake, a musician, has recently escaped rehab to return home. But he is haunted by objects, visitors and memories distracting him from his true purpose, self-destruction. Adapted from Gus Van Sant's 2005 film based on the final days of Kurt Cobain, this new opera plunges into the torment that created a modern myth. The composer in residence is by Oliver Leith, alongside directors Matt Copson, Anna Morrissey, and libretto by Matt Copson. So far it has had all 5 and 4 star reviews. Kurt had one child with American singer Courtney Love, 58, Frances Bean Cobain, 30, who is a model and visual artist. Frances' father struggled with substance abuse and mental health issues throughout his life. She was just shy of 2 years old at the time. Broken family, Cobain, pictured with wife Courtney Love and daughter Frances Bean, was ruled a suicide by police. Her mother, Courtney, was married to Kurt from 1992 until his death. Frances inherited 37% of her late father's estate in December 2009. In 2019, she revealed that she feels guilt over inheriting the money, which is reported to be more than $95,000 a month, because she didn't earn it, people reported. It's almost like this big, giant loan that you'll never get rid of, she explained during an episode of the RuPaul, What's the Tea? podcast. I have an almost foreign relationship to it or guilt because it feels like money from somebody that I've never met, let alone earned myself. Nirvana burst out of the underground and into the mainstream music scene in 1991 with the release of their seminal album Nevermind, which features their powerful lead single Smells Like Teen Spirit. For the next three years, the Seattle based rockers went on to become among the biggest bands in the world, selling over 75 million records worldwide. Eventually, Nirvana was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in their first year of eligibility in 2014, 